got in touch with me. He said, what's happening here? I said, holy moly, that is an incredible landform. We've never seen it before. And that is saying something when that guy says it. That's Portland State University geology professor emeritus Scott Burns. He thought he'd seen it all until he saw these photos of an extremely rare sand formation on the Oregon coast. Portland resident Pilar French took, the recent, took them recently at Cape Kiwanda near Pacific City and shared them with us. Thanks for sharing. Take a look. It looks like someone dragged a giant rake down the dunes to make these nice straight grooves. But I assure you, this was not done by humans or aliens, for that matter, as some have speculated. Professor Burns says the technical term for this rare but naturally occurring feature is linear earth flow. To understand how it happened, we have to go back 5,000 years when the dunes of Cape Kiwanda first began to form. Like rings on a tree, the lines of darker sand tell us the history of the dunes, a repeating cycle of pine trees, fires, and reborn and buried soil blown around and battered by the waves all into a fine sand. Normally, when it rains on parabolic dunes like these, the water seeps through evenly, making nice smooth edges. So what happened here? Professor Burns has a hypothesis. I think recently we have had a lot of uh, very dry periods before the winter time. And into the sand, you got a lot of uh, silt dust blowing. And the, and the dust in the silt is filling in the pores in there. So kind of clogging it. And so instead, what happens is the water goes in and stays. It doesn't go straight through. And then uh, adds some weight to the slope and it flows down. How about that? So there you go. By the way, Professor Burns specializes in geomorphology. Say that three times fast. Or how land gets its shape. He's been at it for nearly half a century. So, yeah, we're going to defer to his very educated guess here. He says he's never seen it in a textbook before. So maybe now he needs to write that himself. Pilar went back to the dunes this past weekend to see if our formation was still there after all that rain on the coast. And this is what it looked like. All the deep grooves, they're gone. They're just not there. It looks like they've melted and oozed down into the dune and then rehardened, kind of, leaving all the darker sand at the bottom. Mother Nature never ceases to amaze us here in Oregon, even the experts who look at the stuff all the time. I showed it to the, the department. Uh, we had a department meeting yesterday. I said, look at this. Nobody had seen it either. So um, very, very special. Yes, indeed. By the way, remember this mysterious sinkhole that opened up on Cape Kiwanda back in January? We asked Professor Burns, and he said that the sinkhole and the earth flow are completely unrelated, just in case you were wondering.